Hey guys, Cyrus Smith here. Um, just a quick tutorial about Captain Skill Point as requested in Discord. So uh, let me just quickly get the game on English for you. Right, so skills points. Um, if you have only one tab, you can purchase some more in the store, but if you do only have one, well, mainly depend on your game style, but I will recommend to always go for the left tree uh, on this territory siege, pirate attack, same for ships, go for the territory attack, except if you all really wanna build everything on defense and sinking in missions, but usually in this game you prefer attacking, so really all on the left side. So what you want to do for pirates until certain captain level, don't invest the 10 points, just go straight down just with 3 points in these, do everything there to go and search for 3 things. Pirate attack, 1 point for 10% is huge, then same for defense here, and same for HP. And when you're down to this one, the HP one, the furthest one don't give that many big boosts, so you don't have to go down more, you can just go straight back up, invest 10 points in attack, defense and HP, and then you will go into territory siege, pirate attack, and HP, HP only, not the defense, it's not great boost, not now, not yet, anyways, so just go for siege and HP every time. Survival rate, really important, you lose more, less pirate battle. Uh, you can go for hiring speed if you want. I don't because this is a level 6 account, so I'm not hiring any pirates, pirates, but it can be good. Territory siege attack speed is good too, and you can just continue going down and going all the time for this territory siege pirate attack and HP. The attack speed is also good. Okay, now for shapes. It's kind of the same, you want at the start not to invest these 10 points there, to invest only 3. You can either go for ship building resources or upgrading. I would recommend upgrading as it will um, give you some discount for the essences of the sea, which are actually quite hard to get, so I would really recommend going for upgrading. But anyways, just invest 3 points in there, go down and go search for capacity 1. 2 and 3. These 3 will give you a total of 45% bonus capacity, which is actually huge. And then you can go straight back up and start investing on the firepower, durability, armor if you want, but it's not that great. And same, go for the left hand side on the tree, the territory siege firepower and durability. Not the armor, not yet. And if you're pa Pirate, if your captain, sorry, is above the level 40, you can actually go further down and go for this 2C capacity 4, which will give you an extra 25%, and the bombardment speed, which is here, which will give you 5%. It's a real good boost, but not until your captain is level at least 45. If you want to raise it, it's at the bottom there, it's only 1000 gold and it doesn't stack up. If you raise it 10 times, it will be 1000 gold each time. So you can make mistakes, it's not too much of a deal. Uh, as for the ship, you can invest in few months in the evasion. It's not extremely, it can be okay in battle, it will really depend on your luck. But it gives some good uh, power boost because one ship which gets 10 points of evasion will get around 25,000 power. So if you have, let's say, 10 ships, just one point in this one which will give you 250,000 power. So you can quickly stack up a few millions with this, this three, this three, and so on. Okay, now management. What you really want in management um, is to go down. As for the others, so just invest 3 points, you can go in food production or collection speed, it's up to you, you choose. So the interesting things are, this construction building bread time, really great, 1 point for 10%, but what you actually, 1 point for 20% then, so it's already 30%, but what you really, really, really want is this. 
the monster hunting everything level 3. Why level 3 particularly? Because as you can see I have 10 points invested and gives 20%. 1 point in this gives out 2% instead of just 1% for the level 2. You can see 3.3% and level 1 is exactly the same thing. 3.3%. So you get twice as much for the same amount of points invested for this level 3. So just go straight down there and invest all the time on firepower and durability and for the pirates attack and HP. Right, that should be all. There's not much more in management. You can go if you want for the assault cooldown. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And when you're done there, <coughs> you can either choose to go down even more. It will be for boss, wall boss, firepower, and bottom and down. It will be for the mermaid. The mermaid is actually a cool one, but you have to go through a lot to get there, so not that much work. I would say when you when you finish there, just go back up and invest in this hunting firepower and also in hunting voyage speed. Because you always want to be hunting a lot in this game, I guess you already know that. Well, that's it for the points. If you want to play defense, it's exactly the same, but for all these parts where you invest in siege pirates, Attack, territory siege, attack, will go for territory defend attack. It's the same. And conquest, well, if it's for the the port city conquest, the tort, uh, the not the tort, to, yeah, sorry, the port real conquest and this kind of stuff. So it can be good to reset your skill every time before you attack um, like port royal or port cities or just get another uh, skill page, but it's really expensive as you can see it's in euros but it's like 50 dollars that's it thank you